PC Perspective's coverage of the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by AMD and the second generation A-Series APUs. Hey guys, Ryan from PC Perspective here. We're talking with Moly from Lillip Lilliputian. And uh, he's going to talk about a really cool technology that they're demoing here on fuel cells. Exactly. Thank you so much. What we have here is what we call the Nectar Mobile Power System. This device with a single pod or power cartridge attached to it will power your cell phone, your Bluetooth headsets, all of your consumer electronics devices that subscribe to the USB standard for two weeks. And you'll never have to plug into a wall ever again. So what's the technology that, that's kind of powering that? Where's, what's, is it, you said it was a, it's a fuel cell butane. The core, the core technology inside, if you were to take this off and look inside, you would actually see a power chip, what we call a silicon power cell. What that actually is, is it's a very small solid oxide fuel cell. It's a very advanced technology that we worked on at MIT and that we've commercialized into our product. And so you said you were working with, with Intel on that, on that part? Yeah, so Intel actually is helping us manufacture these silicon power cells which go inside. And what the silicon power cell does is it extracts the fuel from the cartridge, and that's butane, but it could be any hydrocarbon. It could be methanol, it could be uh, butanol, it could be anything of that nature. But butane, everybody knows, it's the same stuff that's in your cigarette lighter and it's very convenient, and that goes into the device and we convert that butane into electricity and then we power a cell phone with it. The exhaust, is that, what do you, the exhaust, is there any issue with that? No, nope. actually, the exhaust is, is, is a steam. It's like a, it's a, you know, think about it, it's the same thing as you. It's water vapor that it, that, that it puts out. It's a beautiful solution. And now I heard you talking earlier that you don't recharge these, you just buy new cartridges. Exactly. What you do is you walk around with another cartridge or two and you can put them in your bag and you can take them on airplanes, you can take the whole thing on airplanes and use them on airplanes. You carry a couple of these cartridges with you and each of them gives you two weeks of power. And so it's about $10 a cartridge and so it's either two cups of coffee at Starbucks or two weeks of power. Or well what was the milliwatt uh, ratings on, on one of these cartridges? Um, it's all in our spec sheet, so you should go to nectarpower.com if you'd like. But inside a single cartridge is approximately 55,000 milliwatt hours of power. So 10 to 14 full charges of your iPhone to, is an easy way to think of it, or what we say, two weeks of power. And uh, how long do you think it'll be until we see some of this stuff in our laptops? Oh, we're, we've been working with a lot of the laptop manufacturers around the world, and they've been testing some of our technology. I think in about 18 months to 24 months, you might start seeing them in your laptops. We're very excited about it. Me too. Thank you very much. No